What's your topic, Dom? All right. So my topic is just gaming media in general and how we each prefer to consume it. Um, so I'm, I'm curious what you, what you guys prefer, um, as well as everyone else who might be listening. I mean, um, so me, myself, um, I'm a full-time student right now, and then I also work 30 hours a week. So my free time is absolutely precious. So whenever I do get that free time, I mean, I'm playing actual games, right? Yeah. Um, that being said, I, when I'm driving and when I'm, I have some, you know, available-ish time where I'm doing something at work, it doesn't require me interacting with other people, I listen to podcasts. Like, I, I love podcasts. I listen to, you know, at least five or six or seven shows every week of just, pod, just audio podcasts, right? Um, I never really watch any Let's Plays um, or anything on YouTube or anything of that nature where it's kind of it's kind of got to grab most of my attention. I've never really been into any of that. Um, I do grab the like, occasional video review of a game I'm more interested in on YouTube, but that's about it. So, I mean, I'm primarily a podcast guy. <clears throat> so, I mean, seeing like how big like Let's Plays and all this other stuff has gotten, I'm curious like where that fits in in other people's lives um, compared to other things. So, so for me personally, I I'm kind of weird in the sense of I it'll make sense when I'm done with it. I can't binge things. I cannot watch more than two episodes of anything, um, like on Netflix or anything. It's just not how I'm programmed. People can watch a whole series on Netflix, right? Yeah. Episode after yep. episode after episode. I can't. It's just not how I function. I get bored. No matter how good the show is, maybe bored's the wrong thing. It's like it gets stale to me, and I need to change it up just for, so I can still enjoy the show. Maybe it's me not wanting to get through everything all at once. Um, so I don't really intake a lot of movies or TV shows. I intake a lot more um, online content. Speaking um, of that, really quick, House of Cards is fantastic, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Um, so I intake a lot of online content through YouTube and stuff. I don't like listening to audio podcasts. I'm more of a visual person. I like watching the video and watching them speak as they speak. It's just how I am. I don't really like listening to audio. The only podcast I listen to solely audio is the comedy button just because they don't have a video portion of it, um, which is unfortunate. Um, I think for their Patreons, maybe they do. But uh, as far as games media, I watch Let's Plays. Um, my The primary people I watch are Rooster Teeth slash Achievement Hunter slash Let's Play. They're like three different things. The kind of funny guys. Um, I watch podcasts here and there of other people. So like I, I've listened to Nerds of the Round Table and stuff like that. But honestly, there's only about two or three podcasts I listen to. Most of my stuff is people playing video games and enjoying them. I really like that. I, I watch a lot of streamers too, actually. Um, some of my favorite streamers I watch are like Ammunition and stuff like that. And I like it because it's, it's an immediate dialogue with somebody and it's immediate feedback. Whereas with the YouTube video, you know, a lot of times they record it in advance, right? Which is st- still enjoyable. But the reason live streaming is kicked off so much is because it's this instant connection, Right. There's somebody right there playing a game, and you see their immediate reaction. It's not edited, not filtered. Yeah, it's just them. And uh, I really love, I really love streaming, and I, I love all that stuff. Um, so you're all in. Yeah, I, I, I like online content. I, I'll, I, I don't like TV really. Um, my TV shows are Netflix shows. Uh, I can do without TV forever. Really, I just don't watch anything on TV. I don't need to watch the local news. I have the internet for that. Um, yeah, all my stuff is on, through online and uh, I have a lot more free time right now as of now. So I'm trying to take the free time I have now to try to digest as much as I can. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more of a video podcast guy when it comes to games media than audio. What about you, Jordan? Um, so games media has honestly been a pretty big part of my life for most of my life. Um, I can remember even before middle school, like in elementary school, I can remember just, um, hopping on the computer and typing in IGN.com on one tab and GameSpot.com on another just to kind of get the general gaming news from around the industry. And um, ever since then, I've been a part of that. Um, started going to IGN more in the last like four or five years. Um, that's where I got into Podcast Beyond and um, Colin and Greg and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh my current, um, I guess, routine when it comes to games media would be I wake up in the morning and get a shower and then usually come out to my computer and get on IGN, see uh, you know everything that happened while I was away from the website and 
Um, that's one of my big news sources, of course. Uh, you know, Facebook, all the pages that I like on there come through my news feed, so I see, you know, random articles and stuff from Polygon and Kotaku and stuff. But, yeah, IGN, I go there pretty much every day and, and read their stuff, read their articles, and watch their videos. Um, and they're not the best website out there, but they are, like, you know, one of the most consistent and, uh, well-rounded, uh, like geek media and entertainment websites out there. So they're nice to be able, it's like, uh, it's nice to know that IGN's just there whenever I want my comic book or video game or movies. Oh yeah. You know? It's nice. Yeah. You see a, a video game article and also check out a review of a Game of Thrones episode or whatever. Yeah. Right. Right. It's like yeah. everything I'm interested in, in two in one hub basically. Exactly. Yeah, as far as podcasts go, I had I didn't really get into podcasts until a couple years ago, I would say. Um, and I've gone through all the podcast beyonds and love that podcast. Um, wait, 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 wait! You've gone through <clears throat> all of them, like podcast all four hundred. Yeah, yeah. So um, I was a pizza delivery driver last year, and I would just play podcast beyond while I drove pizzas around because that'll do it. It music can actually get pretty damn boring when you're just constantly listening to it and sitting in the car. So, yeah, that was how I got through Podcast Beyond. Um, and um, now, you know, I'm I've been into kind of funny since they were the Game Over Greggy channel. So, um, I watch, you know, I've been through all the Game Over Greggies and um, kind of funny games cast since been there since the beginning. So, um, I would say IGN and Kind of Funny are my two main like podcast places, and then I really like Danny O'Dwyer over on GameSpot, so I watch his show a lot called The Lobby, which they've pretty much turned into a podcast, and then um, the Game Informer show I've started watching recently. If you guys um, aren't familiar with the Game Informer YouTube channel or the videos they do... They're um, pretty good, yeah. Yeah, those guys are pretty cool, and they've got kind of a similar... Um, goofball style to like you know IGN or especially kind of funny where you're just kind of having fun with the gang sort of thing so the Game Informer show is a podcast I've recently started listening to um, as far as Let's Plays go I don't I've never really watched Let's Plays if anything it's just been for like gameplay footage that I've watched Let's Plays um, but of course since kind of funny games got into it uh, I've watched some of their stuff and really um, I just put those on while I'm gaming if I've run out of podcasts. So um, other than that, uh, I loved game trailers when that was sort of still a thing. Um, and they had like their own, you know, gaming related YouTube shows that aren't an hour long. They're just a few minutes or whatever. So shout out to the final boss men and Huber hype. Um, so, yeah, that's that's how I I or what I consume, how I consume. I have two TVs set up in the room that I stay in. So one of them is bigger and that's like, you know, in front of my chair. And then there's a smaller one off to the right. And, um, I like video podcasts better than audio just cause I like that facial interaction. So yeah, I just put, you know, whatever podcast, podcast beyond or whatever on the, the second TV and then play, you know, go collect stuff in Assassin's Creed unity or whatever on my big TV. That is how I enjoy my games media. I, I would say, again, it's a big part of my life, and I really enjoy it, just kind of being part of the gaming zeitgeist. So, Yeah, no, it's cool. It's, it, it, there's definitely something that, uh, that can fit in, fit in with everybody, right? So, I mean, yeah. like how you guys just describe that, and then there's also, you know, pretty much every, every one of those channels also does something, just an audio podcast. So someone with a little less time or just, like, the way the week might work out, you know, you can just have that on your phone, pop in when you're driving or whatever else. I think the interesting thing too is like, I think for any of us here, no matter how much free time or how little free time we have, we would make time to listen to a podcast, right? If we only yeah. had time to listen to a podcast, we would. Right. If we had time to listen to more, then we would. Like, oh, I think that yeah. definitely shows that it's, you know, it's something that we consume because we enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I I love I just love being in in the in the the mindset of like being a gamer and listening to, you know, just listening and taking in all this information. I think it's really cool. I think um, podcasts especially are awesome for like passive consumption. Yeah. So like what Agreed. you were talking about, Dom, where you're driving or you know me being a delivery driver 
or you know doing side quests in in a game on one TV while you're passively watching and listening a podcast on the other or doing chores whatever it is you know they just work well they're like they pair well with a lot of things you know multitasker's best friend right exactly. Yeah, exactly when i'm walking my dogs or if i'm at work you know writing code or you know responding to emails I, like yeah it's it's a perfect multitasker companion yeah thanks again everyone for watching and or listening if you like what you heard be sure to give those like and subscribe buttons a quick click Every little contribution can help to make our channel grow. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at CTRLINT. That's controlled interest. See you later.